when I was in the Senate, we actually did a, uh, had a, a test for the Air Force. And two years ago, the Air Force flight tested a B-1 bomber using a coal sin fuel mixture. It went past Mach 1, the speed of sound. Then they did a 50-50 coal jet fuel mixture in an F-15 and went past Mach 2, twice the speed of sound. And the thing about coal sin fuels, it's a proven technology. It's not some pie in the sky R&D project. It's a great fuel, it's a drop-in fuel. You don't have to modify the engines. And so it, the, the concept has been around really for 70 years. China's building about a dozen of these coal to liquid facilities. And I'd, I'd like to see us doing that here in the United States and have a long-term contract with our Air Force. And again, it's, it's ours. We don't have to worry about tankers. It, it provides jobs and it costs about 50, 60 dollars a barrel for a coal sin fuel. So the key, I, in my view, is I think our Air Force ought to get a long-term contract so investors can invest in one of these facilities. And we don't have to worry about any offshore uh, rigs exploding or tankers coming in from Venezuela or Saudi Arabia or anywhere else. So 